Hey guys, um, today a uh, little off course, but I'm doing some landscaping and the neighbors they wanted a uh, sunflower garden uh, with sunflowers breaching the top of their fence uh, along the sidewalk side of their house. So if you see here, um, this was just grass before. The thing I did was set up a string line to mark the outer edge of where the garden bed is going to be. And then a, I cut the edge first along the string line and then removed all the grass, uh, raked the debris and roots that were left over from removing the sod and dug an edge and put the edging in. Um, this is 20 foot PVC edging. Um, I probably could have gotten a hundred foot roll um, and then around the tree here I just did a uh, curve by eye and that'll look a bit better once uh, soils on the inside and outside uh, it'll end up giving it better shape and then uh, I was a bit short on the um, edging here so um, and I so I brought it in a bit and it looked better that way anyways and then around the front here um, the sod along the edge I took out flipped upside down and put it up there to save uh, using garden mix uh, because uh, it was so deep in here there's just a big hole that um, I'll be saving some garden mix but uh, yeah, basically, and then, so I've got about 150 spring bulbs with 17 different types of bulb flowers. And you know, everything from tulips to daffodils and the clients here have uh, stated that they just want them completely random instead of kind of clumping them in groups, keeping the same, the kinds together. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty them all into this bucket, mix it up really well. And then when I go to remove them, I'll be, it'll be random when I'm grabbing. So I'll, uh, Hey, today I got a pull and I'm going to see if I can make my dog useful at all. So I've tied him to the root and I have hot dogs. Okay, pull, pull. So normally you would have to dig little holes with a hand trowel um, to and then put the bulb in roughly between three and four inches deep but uh, because I've got four yards of garden mix here and by the time I put the garden mix on top of this level it'll be um, uh, about three four inches I'll be putting three four inches of garden mix on top of this level so what I'm going to do is just place all the bulbs and then pile the garden mix on top okay now, now you have to wait another 10 minutes you have to go 10 minutes without barking 10 minutes in a row without barking to get your last hot dog no, you have to be quiet though. 10 minutes in a row. No barking, and then you get your hot dog. I hate it when people sit there and pretend like they're helping. So. 
So, next, I got all my bulbs dumped into this bucket, but they're not mixed that good. So, dump them here, gently. Now I'll put them back in this bucket. Okay, so I got them all nicely mixed. So as I pick them out of the bucket, as I'm not, as long as I'm not size uh, size discriminant, um, like I try and grab a smaller one when I can, um, and then. You always want to keep that pointy end up. Okay. Let's grab another one here. There's the bottom where the roots come out. Pointy end. Okay. Again, there's the round circle that goes on the bottom. Pointy end at the top. Here's a good example. There's where the roots and the pointy end. Okay. And I'm doing, I'm giving generous spacing for now until I get to the very end. And then if there's any left over, then I'll go, go back over and um, fill, fill uh, empty gap areas if there is any. Okay. Okay, next I want to throw in some uh, fertilizer, and here I got my garden fertilizer, bone meal, uh, 012 so, now I'm just going to spread it very um, evenly and generously throughout the bed, and the bone meal is great for the roots, it gives the roots a uh, jack it gives the roots a head start. Okay.
Okay, I got my really good garden mix here. Nice and fluffy. And I'm going to carefully spill it onto the bulbs without moving them very much. So kind of gentle because I don't want them to move from where they're placed. And the soil is nice and loose so as I dump it on it uh, instantly uh, secures, secures how the bulbs are placed. Morning guys, um, I ran out of bulbs last night and it was too dark to go uh, get more and plant them last night so I went and got them this morning. And I got another 15 bags and there's roughly 10 bulbs in each bag. So, and there were 17 bags from yesterday. Um, So 150 plus 100, you know, over 300 bulbs. So I got um, that first half of the section done, and today I'm gonna finish up on the uh, last part of it here. So one thing I noticed when I got here, or I should probably do it anyways, loosen up the soil a little bit mix that bone meal that I dumped in yesterday in and get it kind of nice and flat. Okay. Then I'm going to do what I did yesterday, which was empty all these bags into a five gallon pail. It's about minus one right now. So not cold enough that the ground is frozen. But just cold enough that I could have bulbs here as long as I kept them in the sun. Minus one is no problem for a big dog. Yeah, I got lots of good stuff here. Jay lilies.
Okay, got them all out of the bags. Now I'm going to give them a good mix. Okay, that should be good. And I'll put them back in the five gallon pail. You know, it's days like today, I love my job, um, landscaping is so peaceful, so healthy for you, you're, you're outside, in the sun, sometimes in the shade, and uh, I'm able to maintain um, a true sense of freedom. Especially in a country called Canada. There's going to be so many flowers here, three weeks into the spring. Like I think I'm up to like 10 different types of tulips. On top of, of like 8 different types of daylilies, you name it. Okay, uh, next I'm going to disperse lightly some leaves before I add any more garden mix. 
because uh, um, it's food for the important uh, funguses and bacteria that break down things into plant food and make for a healthy soil. So basically, I, do, I want gaps between the leaves where there's soil because that allows the toxic gases from decomposition to escape as, a, as opposed to just putting a, a big layer like that. I want some some areas of dirt to be showing because then the, the gases can kind of escape from there. Um, I am putting another layer of dirt on here afterwards. Okay, so now I got the leaves all distributed. And like I said, those will act as uh, food for the fungus and beneficial bacteria. Now I'm gonna continue to put another layer of dirt on top and that should be, bring me up to uh, four or five inches of soil and firmament, firmament on top of the bulbs to keep them nice and warm and cozy over the winter. Have you come to help me? <laughs> yeah? Oh, geez. Okay. Um, we're getting there. But here, I put a lot extra because it will settle um, over time. And I wanted a generous four inches on top of those bulbs so they last the winter. But now, um, I'm just going to rake down these piles a little bit. And I don't mind at all that uh, I spilled over in a lot of spots 
um, because I do have to fill in the gaps on the front side of the edging uh, pretty much along the entire thing so uh, you know it's pretty easy to get it down there it just kind of falls down and I'll go along with the leaf rake and uh, so for now I'm just gonna rake these piles down and uh, so it doesn't look like a bunch of camel humps and uh, go from there okay okay we're almost done bye now So guys, I'm just about finished, and I'm doing a bit of a clean up here, and see a lot of soil from the pile spilled over onto the lawn. No problem, it's actually kind of good for the lawn, considering what I'm going to do right now, which is, uh, you know, basically, it's a, it's a top dressing. People top dress their lawn all the time, and, uh, you know, we got a couple of holes. It's pretty bumpy, so what I do is I just... Pull the dirt over the holes. And if it was a different time of year, not winter, then I would be throwing seed down right now. But uh, I'm going to be saving the seeding. I'll come back in the spring when the tulips are up and uh, seed as need be and probably fertilize. Gonna fan it out. And if I change directions a couple times, then the, the dirt tends to uh, fall down in between the blades of grass as opposed to just on top of the grass. And then the same thing here, I'm just going to go over it with the leaf rake a little bit in different directions so the dirt falls down into uh, the grass and then uh, I should be finished. Hey guys, so we are all wrapped up here. I have all 300 bulbs planted now in this bed and all the spilled over dirt I got fanned out and top dressed on the exi existing uh, lawn. And now all we gotta do is wait for the spring for all these bulbs to come up and it will look fantastic.
Okay, good job. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.